Well, look who it is. I haven't seen you since you rejected the Lord and stopped coming to church. Well, okay, that's kind of harsh. I'm simply on my own spiritual journey and discovering what's meaningful and enriching for me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to say, I'll pray for you. And what exactly do you mean by that? I just mean I'm going to pray for your soul so that you'll get right with the Lord. Well, first of all, getting right with the Lord just means that you believe that there's only one path of spirituality that's valid, and I no longer believe that. So that certainly makes your I'll pray for you hollow. And then when I asked for clarification, you affirmed my suspicions by treating me like a child incapable of making decisions about my own spiritual journey. Well, now hang on here. No, you hang on, because if you truly cared for me, you would not have used that tone when you said, I'll pray for you. Whoa, oh, 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 Sister Carla, lighten up there just a little bit. You went to the same church I did. You went to the same Bible studies I did. You heard the same sermons I did. You know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No, I don't. I have fully deconstructed from that belief and no longer believe that Jesus even saw himself as the Savior of the world. Besides, there are so many mistranslations and deletions and additions in the Bible that I'm not going to believe anything that Jesus said or didn't say, nor am I going to make somebody feel spiritually inferior based on those beliefs. Well, the devil sure got a foothold in you. Oh, is that what you're still calling it? Because I also reject fear-based theology that also includes a belief in the devil or hell because I no longer believe in any of that. And if you truly cared about me, what you could have said was, how can I support you on your spiritual journey? <laughs> oh, okay. You want me to support you in some midnight moon ritual that probably involves a sacrifice. Because I've read about that. Okay, you're just displaying another Christian manipulative tactic where you take a situation and you take it to the extreme, hoping to invoke fear-based theology, which would include me coming back to church because I would be fearful for my soul. Because you're hoping to ping something inside me that has something to do with my indoctrination into high control, fear-based, religious patriarchy, and that no longer works on me. And you may believe you're saving souls, but all your church leaders want are people in those pews to perpetuate the institution with their tithes. Well now, I am feeling persecuted. Nope, that's another spiritual manipulative tactic that you are hoping to be seen as the victim, and you're not. And this is a form of spiritual abuse and it deserves to be called out. So I would just keep walking and no longer say to me, I'll pray for you.